Fresh morning dew clings to the tall grass that fills the fields of West Germany. The peaceful countryside betrays the reality of what is currently happening across Germany at this moment. A full-scale Soviet invasion of the NATO state is kicked off and the world's premier superpowers will test their wills in a head-to-head -head battle to dwarf those of the earlier part of the century. In a small pocket at the corner of what is known as the Folded Gap, the epicenter of this immense war, a platoon of Soviet soldiers from 1st Battalion, 243rd Motorized Rifle Regiment, are dropped off by helicopter to capture crypto and disrupt communications at an American radio retransmission site. The site sits, logically, atop a small bluff surrounded by farmland, yet obscured by a dense forest that can be expected in the rugged German countryside. Its defenders are a small force, not much larger than a squad, and not expecting Russian fighters this far behind their own lines. The Soviet element leader, Lieutenant Sheryl Glazov, upon insertion, immediately barks orders, spurring his men to begin moving along their designated axis of approach to their respective assault positions, as per the plan he had created earlier in the day. An organic sniper team peels off from the rest of the platoon, moving to their battle position in the attic of a German farmhouse where they will use their SVD sniper rifles to suppress enemy positions on the hill. The rest of the platoon stays behind the cover and concealment of a line of trees and foliage on the right flank, masking their movement as the as they close with the enemy defense and their objective. The platoon MG team peels off as they approach another group of buildings. From here, the team will find a good position from which they can suppress and pin enemy positions at the top of the hill where the retrans site sits. The rest of the platoon continues moving across an open field, one of the only observable areas from the hill on this flank. It is not long before American machine gun fire opens up on the men. Fortunately, only one casualty is taken. The platoon reaches the other side and begins to ford the small stream in front of them. Once across, the leading element, 1st Squad, continues its approach to the retrans site, while 2nd Squad swings out in order to observe and destroy enemy forces along the road at an expected checkpoint. The plan is disrupted as American gunfire interrupts 1st Squad's march up the hill. As if in second nature, the entire platoon reacts to the enemy fire, getting down on line and returning their fire with a ferocious volley of small arms and explosives. Meanwhile, the Soviet MG teams reposition to a nearby building's attic in order to obtain a better line of sight on the enemy battle positions on the hill. Elements of 2nd Squad detach from the column and flank the enemy positions in the open.
The American checkpoint is quickly overrun and its defenders destroyed. The entire platoon continues to close with the retrain site. As they approach the crest, a nearby American armored vehicle moves up the hill in support of its defenders. The Soviets spot an American transport truck as well as another armored vehicle specialized for communications operations. A firefight erupts and grenades are tossed and casualties are taken and given. The American M113 arrives on scene, but is quickly disabled by Russian RPG-7. The American's radio retrans is now surrounded by Soviet infantry and its defenders completely annihilated. Communications equipment is destroyed and whatever valuables left are collected by the platoon's leader to be handed over to operations intelligence.